Okay, so quick setup of image references in Maya. Para sa mabilis ang pagsisetup ng reference, let's just do these things first. First thing is, kailangan meron ka ng project folder that will contain your references or assets. And you should name it properly also para hindi ka maliligaw, no? especially if this project is going to be um, progressive, something that you will work on continuously. Um, I know Maya has its own project um, library set up once na naggawa ka ng new project doon, but it's a bit more complex and let's say it is done professionally, no? or it is, uh, its parameters are within professional requirements. Um, we are more on customized or personalized project muna. Or we are within that level. So that's why I just created a folder, named it accordingly, and then I paste inside my edited assets. Um, edited assets, uh, kasi this image originally, or these images originally are all one chunk, or they are just one whole of an image. So, I have them cropped in Photoshop. So, as you can see, um, I cropped them in Photoshop so I can do precise size or the sizes can be precise. No, For example, the front view is the same as the back view. So, it's almost like as if you're just flipping it. And also the side view. But the side views are also or were just flipped. No? Same image. Pinlip ko lang. Now that I have these references inside my project folder, and they are just on the desktop, easy or quick access, let us start our setting up of references. Um, I'll just open up Maya. So, yeah. What I did here is, if you may be wondering kung medyo iba siya, it's just as simple as, my Windows and UI elements, no? In the Windows UI elements, I just remove the command line and the help line, no? I can also remove the range slider, and I can also go back, Windows UI elements, and also remove the time slider. Once I remove that, mas lalaki ang aking view for my viewports which is a lot more advisable for modeling. Yeah. Next thing, since I have adjusted that view, let's go to, let's set up the references. Um, I'll just go to my create here. And then I'll go down to create free image plane. And makakagawa ka na ng image plane. And that's it. As simple as that. Now, next thing is, I'll go to the attributes or if so, automatic, the attributes are already appearing sa my right menu board mo. Um, first thing to do here is, of course, you need to rename your image plane, keeping it organized. I'll name it front. So this means this is going to be where the front reference is going to be placed. To place it, para mailagay yon, I'll just go here. Down in the image name, there is a image button here. I'll just click that image folder button, sorry. And then I can go to the desktop, go to the folder, and choose the file. And yeah, adjust na ng image plane size accordingly to the image reference. You have set. Then I'll just push it back along the z-axis. Push it back muna. Then I'll just repeat. I can do the shortcut G and it will repeat the last uh, it, it's, uh, it will repeat the create image plane. No? Then I'll just rename this once more. Um, I'll name this side. Then I'll just go here, once more, in the attributes, image name, image folder button, desktop, 
where I save my folder, and then into the folder where I have my reference. So it's a bit repetitive, but I think looking at this, I will need the other side. Ito. No? The left side of the character. And then I'll push it along the x-axis on this side. Now, obvious thing is on the front view, I can see my reference. On the side view, cannot. Diba? Let's focus here. Yeah, cannot see it on the side view. So what do I do? I will just go to my rotate tool or press E for the shortcut. And along the Y axis, this is the Y axis. No, I will go back here in my channel box settings. And along the Y axis, I can type in there 90 degrees to make it turn. And nakita ko na siya on the side view. Right? Nitin ko ah, if it was zero first, so I cannot see it. Turning it to 90 degrees on the y-axis. And there. Kita ko na siya. Okay? So I have pushed it far outside the grid. The same as my front view. No? So the next thing that I will be doing is I will select them. No, go back to the move tool. And then I will go back to my attributes. I will do this as early as now. No, baka kasi tanongin nyo, but hindi na lang later. When I have the back view set. Well, the back view is going to be confusing because magiging aligned sila. They will be facing each other, the front view and the back view. So to avoid confusion, as early as now, I will do this step. I will select the front view, I will go to my attributes, and once more in the attributes, I will click this, looking through camera. So right now, it is displayed in all views. Kita ko siya sa perspective, front side, back top, which I don't need to. I'll just click it on looking through camera, and then I will choose the camera and set it, of course, to front. So now, hindi ko siya nakikita sa perspective view, but I can see it in the front view. The same procedure, I'll go to my side view. I'll go to the looking through camera option and set it to side. There. So the next thing that I will be doing is I need the back view. But obviously, Maya does not provide you by default a back view view uh, image uh, a back view viewport so what do we do we create a back view i'll go to my um, panels orthographic i'll choose new and i'll just choose back so this means a new orthographic view is going to be created in this top view when i click that becomes a back view and also at the same time you see the cameras for every views are present. The back view is now here. Right? Now that I have the back view here, all I need to do is once more create another image plane. A free image plane created. So I'll go back to my attributes, folder button, and then the back. I'll press open and the back view set. Then I'll just go to my looking through camera and set it to back view. And this one is going to be pushed forward. There. Okay. So now I have them all set. The next thing that I will do is I will select, oops, sorry. I will just reorganize it. Of course, I will name my image plane. For the back view accordingly, it's back. Then I will select all of these image planes holding control. No, click, hold control, click the side and the front, and then I will do the following adjustment. First off, I will go to my channel box, and into the channel box, I will type in here in the scale. No, 
I can select all of the scale so that they will be in uniformity or all dimensions are going to be adjusted. And then I will just rescale them to 2. Scaling it to 2. And it's already adjusted. Next thing is, I will switch. No, while, I, while I still have them all selected, I will switch to the Move tool. And then I will drag them on top of the grid line. So that when I start modeling, the object is going to be on top or above the grid line, which should be the proper default position you know, of a modeled object. Next thing, let me just double check. Uh -huh. Everyone is in scale 2. Okay. So the next thing that I'll do now here is I will turn off the grids. The grids will get in the way of our modeling. The only grid that I need is going to be in the perspective view. So I can turn this off. Yeah. Next thing, this frame that I am seeing here is a camera. The back view camera. Now, whenever we are modeling, chances are we might select that. Baka ma-select natin siya. So, what do we do? I will select the camera. I'll go to my display menu. And in the display menu, we choose hide. And hide selection. The shortcut is here. Control H. Now, that camera is hidden. Just like the other cameras in the scene. So, Stay, they are safe now. Okay? And with that, I will just go to Save, File, and then just choose Save the Scene. Of course, I'll go to my Desktop. I'll go to my Project Folder. And then let's say I'll name this Base Mesh. And then I'll just save it. And that's it. Pressing F, select F, click and press F, click and press F, meaning for focus. And then I'll just save once more. Now we have a scene and we also have our references set up. I'll see you on the next.